Hello, yes, the end of UKIP, part two. There's another reason, probably many, but there's another big reason why the powers that be, Nick Lowell's Hub Not Hate, Jerry Gable, Sage Light Magazine, need to bring down UKIP. And I'll tell you, should Theresa May come under immense pressure, be put in a corner and have to deliver a full Brexit, what 17.4 million people voted for, were pulled out the European Union, within a short time, the jobs start coming back, the country's back up on its feet, trading with some of the big hitters around the world, patriotism riding high, especially if England win the World Cup, and people in large enough numbers may then begin to say to themselves, you know what, we've been getting conned and fooled by this shower ruling over us the past 40, 50 years. We never really needed to be in this European Union. And look what's happened since we've pulled out. So they start demanding more change and more change. Now, whether or not the powers that be could meet those changes would be highly unlikely. So who did they look round for? The party of change, which would be UKIP. And given it was Nigel Farage and UKIP that brought about Brexit. So th this is another reason why they need to bring UKIP down. And that's why they flooded it with the weirdos, the deviants the snitches and all the rest of the misfits to bring it down. It's no coincidence or accident, is it? Count Dankula, I mean, come on, get real. Milo, Campo, Camp Milo, right? And all the rest of them, you know. Uh, what's the other one? Sargon of Achan, has he been refused entry? I'm not sure now, but whatever, whatever, right? So that's why they've brought this, this plethora of so-called Social media giants Paul Joseph Watson, he's another one that endorses all his stupidness, regardless how many followers he has, take any notice of that, don't let that fool you. So, there's another good big reason why the powers that be, Theresa May, the big boys in MI5, Nick Lowell's Hope Not Hate, Jerry Gable, Taylor Magazine, need to bring down UKIP. Okay, thank you.